was contacted by this company here, Minis Poru, on uh, my YouTube channel, and they wanted me to review this dock. They saw my Mac Mini um, kind of critique of storage and RAM upgrades, which is on YouTube. I have a dock that I'm using, but I'm not overly, really happy with it. It's kind of this giant thing over to the side. Um, so I was actually really happy to review this because it looks like the Mac Mini just slots right into it, and then you get some really cool features with it. So I'm actually gonna do this review here. Um, I'm gonna test it out, kind of see how it works and whether it's a good buy. I mean, they just basically sent this over free. It's not sponsored or anything. They just said, uh, we'll send this to you and you can review it. And I said, sure, that sounds good to me. I'll review it and uh, give my thoughts on it. So it's a USB 3.2 Gen 2 um, device. So it should get pretty good speeds. You can see they're 10 gigabits. So that'll give you uh, pretty good speeds overall. It's not gonna be a Thunderbolt 4 speed, but you know, those docks are very expensive. They can be hundreds and hundreds of dollars, um, sometimes four or $500 Canadian, which is kind of absurd to be honest. Um, so I think this is gonna be a really good budget option for a lot of people who you know don't need blazing speeds off of their dock, but they need you know good speeds. I wanna hook up some different devices. So it says for a Mac Mini, technically you could use this with any device really. Um, you know, it's not only Mac Mini, it's just that it has that nice slot ability for a Mac Mini. But I think you could even use this for like a Windows laptop. I mean, again, that's not what it's for, but I don't see why not. And uh, yeah, so it's, and the other thing is it's really small, which is nice. It's not giant footprint, so. Um, okay, so it's metal. Um, nice metal design there, you get all your ports. Uh, connector or whatever. We'll get to that in a sec. So you get a thermal pad because you'll see why in a minute. So that's really nice. We have our thermal pad there. Uh, your kind of instruction booklet. Um, I mean, I'm not going to need this, but it tells you how to do everything. So hang on to that, obviously, which is cool. But let's see what we got here. So this is why it's kind of cool. So you get TF, which is um, typically uh, they use that in East Asia. It, it's an SD card, micro SD card, full size SD card, which is nice. So, you know, a lot of Mac mini users are doing it for content creation doing it for you know professional work, photo editing, video editing, that kind of thing. So you get two card slots, which is actually really nice. And then you get two USB-C ports there. So you get two 10 gigabit ones, um, which is great. We're gonna plug in some different devices into these and test them out and see if they're quick. 10 gigabit will be pretty quick, to be honest. And uh, there's the, that goes into your actual Mac mini. So we'll hook that up. And on the bottom here, I took this off. Uh, you have an NVMe slot, which is huge. Um, you don't find these on you know some of the bigger brands you basically get, you know, you get a dock. You can throw in your external enclosures and that kind of thing, but then you have dongles on dongles on dongles, which is annoying. So, you know, this is, you're basically plop this in here and then you're gonna be able to hook up an NVMe right away. So I have this, this is a pretty decent NVMe. It's not blazingly fast. It'll be perfect for this. Um, because one of the issues with the Mac mini is if you watch my previous video on the Mac mini, the storage prices are absurd, absolutely absurd. So this is really nice because you can easily expand. Like this thing, these you can get for like, $100 Canadian. This is two terabytes. You can get these for like 100 bucks Canadian, which is 70 American dollars. Um, huge amounts of storage. And it's, yeah, it's going to be a tiny bit slower than internal storage, but it's not going to matter, to be honest. And the prices are just so much better. So we'll hook this up here. Um, they come with a couple of these little things here. It's adjustable here, so you can use 2280, which is the full size, which most people will use. But, you know, if you have a 2230, 2242, you can use that as well. You, know, you can get this dock and then just hook up your, uh, it's done, hook up your, uh, 2280 and get a ton of storage for a good price. Uh, we'll use the thermal pad. I mean, this is metal, so it's going to work as a nice heat sink, actually, to be honest. Um, so if you have a hotter drive, some of these are cooler, some of them are hotter. Put that on like that. It's a pretty thick thermal pad. Decent. And this, I'm assuming, just slots in. Oh, it's magnetized. Okay, so hook that in there. Oh, easy enough. So um, that thermal pad will be nice because this is an all metal build, like I said. So this whole thing is gonna be heat sink. It's just gonna pull heat away from that. I kind of like the look of it being this way here. Yeah, that's clean. And it's got these rubber little grippy things there. So it looks like it like actually bites into it, which is nice. So uh, yeah, you could run it the other way around, but I'm gonna actually run it this way because I want the that to be on that side because it looks cleaner to me. And we'll just pick one of my two Thunderbolt ports. It doesn't really matter which one. There we go, done basically. And we're set up. So let's put this off to the side here. So we'll get that off to the side there and we will get it fired up. You know, this is not where I'm gonna be using this. This is my like, little dining table, but I like to test things here. 
But that's a pretty clean setup, to be honest. Uh, when I move this down to my desk area, that looks pretty nice to me. So I have my screen that I got dedicated just recently, which I'm gonna have a video on for my uh, Mac Mini here. And there's the dock. Look how clean that is. Like it's pretty minimalistic. I like the MX keys here, so you know you're all set up. And we'll test out these over here, but that's really nice actually. But let's check the performance because that's more important. All right, so it's all set up here. Uh, we have our NVMe inside. Let's see if it detects the drive right off the bat. And there we go, right away. Uh, I just fired up the Mac and there's the drive that I basically put inside. So it's a team group two terabyte that I was using. So let's do a quick test. We'll just test out the speed. I'm expecting around uh, 1000 megabytes a second because um, that's what 10 gigabits will give you, which is perfect to be honest. Uh, but let's test it out. So we'll come in here and we will give it a run. So let's see what kind of speeds we get out of this. Uh, it should be around you know, 900 to 1000 megabytes a second is my guess. And right away, pretty obvious. So uh, there you go. As expected, you're getting 10 gigabit speeds, which is perfect. Again, you're not throwing in a Gen 4, you know, 7,000 megabyte a second drive into uh, this dock. You would need, like even Thunderbolt 4, um, right out of the back of the Mac, is only going to support about 3,000 megabytes a second. And those like dongles, like even if you just get a dongle, not a dock, those Thunderbolt 4 dongles are going to be like $200. They're super expensive. Then you have another dongle and you pay another amount of money. This is perfect for me, just having it stuck right in the bottom of the device there. I mean, it's literally, you put it in and you leave it, you forget it. There's no more dongles hooking off of this device. I just expanded my Mac storage by two terabytes. Um, and it took, what did it take me? Seven seconds to take the bottom off, put the other one in? Well, I was talking, but. Let's say you go out for your day, you know, and you get your GoPro here and you get your footage and you come home. I've been using this style of dongle recently uh, because you know, my Mac doesn't have enough, which is a pain in the butt, but I actually got this from my Steam Deck. So this can go back where it belongs with my Steam Deck and I can just start using this properly, but let's uh, put that in there. Weird angle, there we go. And right away, popped up, just whatever. Uh, this is, has GoPro footage on it, but uh, yeah, there you go, I mean, it works. Sure, we'll test this uh, whatever GoPro thing. GoPro test, you'll probably get, yeah, it's, as expected, it's a Samsung drive. So um, yeah, the GoPro works fine. We're getting the speeds that are recommended. It's like at 70 to 100 megabytes a second. It's not the best drive to be honest, but uh, works perfectly fine. So, you know, you can hook up your micro SD card. I, you can put a normal SD card. I don't have one, I don't use my normal SD, but you can certainly do that. People who use cameras a lot probably use normal ones. Um, yeah, so, so far so good. Uh, what else can we hook up into this thing? Because why not? I do have another uh, drive in here that I was using before, like I said. It has Windows partition on it, but um, you know, let's uh, hook that up there. Test that dongle there. So now we have another drive hooked up. I mean, if, you, if you're a glutton for storage, um, then you can go for it. Hey. Okay, and there's another drive hooked up. Um, this is a Windows partition, so don't worry about it like looking weird. It has nothing to do with that. It's just that I actually use it with Windows, so I'm not gonna format it right now. Um, but yeah, I mean, it works. There you go. So now I have two terabytes inside the dock. I have my micro SD card, which you know is for external use. And then I have another two terabyte hooked up. This is why my other video, I was talking about how absurd Mac you don't need to buy so much internal Macs. You get an NVMe drive, which are so cheap now, like a two terabyte, they're so cheap. Throw it inside the dock, so you don't have, you don't have to worry about dongles. And you know, anytime you turn on your Mac, it's there right away. Boom, you have your storage. And if you really need, you know, more storage, you get a dock like this. this. Is another NVMe dock. You plug it into your device and you take it with you. You know, use it as you're going, or you can hook it up permanently, tuck that behind. And now I'm up to four terabytes of external storage. So we're getting crazy now. But I mean, you can keep going. Uh, I'm only doing that because this device doesn't have USB-C. It's kind of a fail. Um, if I had a USB-C, I would hook up just another USB-C. I wouldn't use another dongle. But this is a good test. Can it handle all of the dongles? And there we go. There's another two terabyte drive. This is also for my Mac. Now I have two terabytes on a SATA SSD. Now I have another two terabytes on another external little guy there. And then I have two terabytes inside of that. So now I'm up to six terabytes of storage. Um, and it's all being recognized totally fine. All right, so I guess that basically wraps it up. There's the uh, dock there. I'm actually really happy with it, to be honest. I mean, it's a pretty simple device. Uh, you know, 
hold your Mac Mini, you plug in your Mac Mini via USB-C, you get access to SD cards, you get access to micro SD cards, you get access to two uh, 10 gigabit ports, which is nice because you can support external hard drives and all kinds of devices like that. And you get a built-in NVMe, uh, which is, in my opinion, actually the biggest part of it. I mean, you can always get docks. It's very rare for them to have an NVMe slot right in the bottom of the dock, which is awesome, in my opinion, because you can plug it in, basically set it and forget it. You have now extra storage on your Mac Mini. Um, you don't have to spend a ton of money upgrading your Mac Mini. So overall, I'm really happy with it. Um, you know, they sent it over to me, like, no strings attached, which is really awesome for me because now I have a sweet dock. Um, if you're looking for a cheap but high quality storage option that has an NVMe built in, I don't want to stress that. I want to stress that the most, that it has an NVMe built right into it, which is huge for Mac users because Macs have pathetic amounts of storage. Um, this is a really good option for you and I actually recommend it. It's really nice.